How's it going folks? Welcome back to Pete's RV TV. My name's Carl. Today we're going to be looking at the 2018 Wildwood 32 BHDS. Amazing bunkhouse floor plan and I'm going to show you a few features on how we equip ours here at Pete's RV Center to help make your next camping trip that much easier and that much enjoyable. First off, right at the front, you've got your power tongue jack. Push of a button gets you right up off the truck, leveling your rig nice and quick. Working alongside that on all four corners, you do have a button for your power leveling system. Once again, making your life that much easier. You'll notice this large pass-through storage right here in the front. It is accessible from underneath the master bed as well. So those things that are stored further in, you are able to get to. You'll notice this large 20-foot awning above us as well it is fully power, so push of a button, it'll make its way on out. And you do have an LED light strip under there as well to help keep your party going well into the night under plenty of light. You have outdoor speakers as well to help you annoy the neighbors. That way you can be listening to AM, FM radio, has Bluetooth capability, CD, whatever you want. All from one control unit that we're going to be seeing later on. You do have a second door here that goes into your bathroom. That way the kids don't have to be running through the entire rig if they have to go use the restroom. In the back here, you'll notice this beautiful outdoor kitchen. You've got your mini fridge here, store all of your beverages that you need inside, as well as your sink. You've got plenty of counter space and some storage in here as well. So you don't have to be running inside to do anything. It is on a hydraulic lift door. So that does make a nice little cover for you too if you get stuck out here having to cook or anything like that come the not so great camping weather. Make our way up these nice folding steps. They're much sturdier than the traditional fold down type. And we'll be seeing the inside of this unit. You'll notice that the floors here are extremely durable. So no matter what the kids put them through for abuse, it's gonna stand the test of time. Right up front, we're gonna be looking at this nice L counter. You've got your undermount 50-50 split sink with a movable faucet. So doing dishes is going to be an absolute breeze for you. These glass face uh, cabinets up top add a nice residential feel for it as well. So you feel like you're not even away from home. Your stainless steel microwave, you've got your three burner cooktop and oven down below, as well as your fridge and freezer to keep all of your food and drink nice and cold at perfect serving temp. Got a little storage area up above that, as well as pantry space above and below on the side here. Plenty of drawers as well in here to keep all of your utensils. Make our way on back, and first we're gonna have you check out the bathroom in here, Carl. You've got plenty of leg room for your toilet. You've got storage below and above that sink, and you do have that nice tub and shower. So all you're gonna be able to wash up and really just stay clean at the campsite. It's not always the easiest thing in the world to do. On the other side across from that, you do have a wardrobe here. It does have mirrors on it, so you can store plenty of things in here. Drawers underneath for panties, for socks, for undies, whatever you need. So, make our way back into the bunkhouse. You've got Teddy Bear Fabric Equipped Bunks. This is the softest in the industry. The kids are never going to want to get out of these. You do have a ladder to help you get into this top bunk. You've got storage on both sides as well behind that ladder below. And you'll notice on this other side, the jackknife sofa. So all you gotta do, fold it out, have another sleeping area. This right here, the bunk folds up. You have 300 pound capability on this and you've got, once again, another sleeping area. There's tons of natural light in here too, which I'm a huge fan of and much better to me than artificial light. At the end of the day, you can close the kids off with this nice pocket door here, so you're, they're not gonna be bothering you. Enjoy a nice family dinner around the U dinette. Once again, invite the friends over to have a good time. They don't need to leave come the end of the day. You can drop this table down, make another sleeping area. Once again, like I've been hammering home, you can never have enough storage. You've even got another drawer underneath one of your dinette seats. You've got another compartment underneath 
your other jackknifing sofa here in the main living area. So like I said, that does make another sleeping area like what you saw back in the bunkhouse. More storage up top too, so if you wanna keep DVDs or anything like that to keep the kiddos occupied, you're golden. You can get a TV mounted right up here. Plenty of storage, th toss your remotes or anything underneath. This is the head unit I was telling you about. Does your AM, FM, Bluetooth, all of that stuff. You also have, once again, storage underneath as well. Now we're gonna be heading into the front of the unit. That's where the master bedroom is. So you've got your door that at the end of the day, you can shut, keep the kids out and your bed, like I had said earlier, does fold up. You've got nice hydraulic assist with this too. So make lifting and closing this bed that much easier. A locker on both sides is gonna provide you with plenty of storage for all of your clothes, your pants. If you need to bring a business shirt, you can even hang it up there so you're golden. That laundry chute is a great addition as well. It helps keep your bedroom looking that much cleaner. So you can toss your dirty clothes in there at the end of the day, they're not piled up here in the corner. More storage above and below here as well. And you can mount a TV on this side. All of your plugins are right in here, nice and hidden. So you're not gonna have that mess of wires that's gonna create an eyesore for you. I've gone over a few things that this unit does have to offer. If you'd like to check it out and others like it, get in touch with us here at Pete's RV Center in Vermont, Indiana, or Connecticut. Have a great day, thanks for watching, and happy camping.